On June 11, 2023, during routine patrol, an officer spotted a vehicle emitting a loud scraping noise. They followed and noticed a gas pump hose dangling from the tank. The officer initiated a traffic stop, but the driver failed to comply, eventually parking at an apartment complex. This is footage of the events that followed. Hi. Hi. I'm Officer Montjoy, Federal Police Department. Uh, I turned on my lights and sirens and you didn't stop? Or turn on my lights? I did. I just went to our parking spot. Sorry. Okay. Usually, like, if it's a traffic stop, you just kind of stop where you I are. Didn't know it was a stop. There's a lot of raids around here. A lot of raids, you say? Raids as in, like, there was just a bunch of police that was over there and whatnot. There's a lot of police that are circling around here. Oh, okay. So I don't necessarily, like, pull over. I just pull into my spot. What's up? Okay. Um, so... The reason I pulled you over, if you want to look over here to your, the side of your car, you have a, um, were you at the gas station? I was. Fortune copy. This is probably going to be a DUI. You're f***ing kidding me. You're f***ing kidding me. Fortune said it's a possible DUI. Okay, Which... Which uh, gas station were you at? Uh, for Mars. The female officer approached the young lady and asked why she ignored the police lights directing her to stop. She claimed she had stopped just then, but when asked about the hose, it was clear she did not know about it. The police suspected drunk driving. Um, over there on campus, for Mars. Okay. Yeah, I was over there with my boyfriend. He just put gas in my car. That's what I'm trying to figure out, like, if I can get that back to the gas station or whatnot. Definitely, definitely. I didn't know he hadn't put it back in there. I literally just, like, drove off because he told me it was good. Interesting. I feel like cursing him the f*** out. Are you f***ing kidding me? Mm -hmm. This has been riding on me the entire block. That's, that's what I and saw. And nobody has said anything. Well, that's why I stopped you is because I, I saw it on your car, so. Yeah. Oh, I'm about to curse him <laughs> the f*** out. Are you f***ing <laughs> kidding me? He never took the... Yeah. How far how far away do you think that gas station was? Less than a mile. Less like, than a mile away? Honestly, a couple of blocks. Okay. It wasn't even that much. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay, so I'll be honest with you. Um, with this and your driving and all this, do you have your license on you by chance? No. So, so this is a traffic stop, so I'm, I need your license, registration, and insurance. I just because... Just because stopped. I've already parked. I was already in my parking lot. I'm really confused. So this is I had not even pumped the gas. Okay, but because I stopped you initially, it doesn't matter that you parked your car. This is a traffic stop. Okay. So, so I need your license, please. That's perfectly fine. I don't have it on me. I have my passport right now. Okay. I have reason to believe that you're impaired tonight while you're driving your vehicle. Impaired? Uh, correct. Like I under the drunk? under the under the influence of a substance. Correct. Um, so would you be willing to do voluntary field sobriety tests? To... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, awesome. Um, can I have you just step over here for me? It'll be like a quick test of your eyes and like a walking test and things like that. Just stay in this position. Okay. I want you to follow. Her reaction to the hose attached to her car showing that she was ignorant to it. The simple traffic stop would now become an investigation into a possible DUI. She denies being under the influence, but a simple roadside test would determine the truth. Remember to follow the green light with your eyes, okay? I am. Keep your hands on by your side for me, okay? So keep keep your head this way. Point your nose towards me. There you go. Good job. And then just follow it with your <laughs> eyes, okay? I'm sorry, I'm fine. You're okay. I never really had this test. Okay. The next test is going to be just a walk and turn test. What I want you to do right now is just imagine that there's a straight line coming out of your left foot. And I want you to put your right foot on that line with your heel touching your toe, just like this. Can you do that for me right now? Okay. And when you're ready, you can begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In a heel-to-toe manner. Keep your hands on by your side. Five, four, one thousand five, one thousand six. Sorry, can't keep my balance up. How far do you want me to go? I'll tell you when to stop. Got it. One thousand fifteen, one thousand six, and one thousand seventeen. Perfect. You can stop for me. Yes, ma'am. You can put your shoes back on because I know it's cold out here. I'm trying to get home to my daughter. How old's your daughter? I got a four-year-old at home. 
Is she by herself or she's with someone? Uh, she's with my mama, but I gotta get ready to go back to, um, I travel overseas. I live in Florida. Oh, okay. So you're getting ready to go back to Florida? I am. Okay. Is this all you have is this bag, this backpack right here? I do? Is there something wrong? Yeah. So, well, right now you're no, nervous no, no, for no, DUI. No, 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 Melina? I can't, I can't, no, no, no. I need y'all to understand I cannot go to jail. I have to get my daughter Melina, home. Melina, can you stop? I am not pulling against me. Okay. But I need to get my daughter home. Okay. Okay. Which unit is your mother in? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, can you, whoa, 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 whoa. While taking the test, it is obvious the suspect cannot keep her balance. She keeps stumbling and laughing, which are all signs that she might be intoxicated. Based on her results, the police will have to detain her for driving while under the influence. My mom is my mother. Okay, 22 B3. I cannot tell my, my daughter is already... Listen, listen. Is already you cannot a... drive a vehicle I'm not. intoxicated. I'm... Can I go with her? Her. Her. Yeah. Oh, I'll meet you there, though. Okay. I'm always not fucking kidding. I'll Thank you. Something I'm driving for. I go and you need to have a seat. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? So, are you I'm going to reach right in front of you. Can you lean back for me? Can you guys let me... Can you lean back for me? Can I get out? I no. need my kid. No. What do you mean, no? So, so right now you're under arrest, ma'am. What do you mean, you under arrest? Here. Under arrest for what? She already told you, so a DUI? A DUI for what? I need you to take a breath. Okay. I have me. taken a couple of breaths. Okay, we'll the problem going. is that my child is inside the house. Okay, and we're going to check on the child. No, 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 no. I don't we need y'all to check on my kid. I oh, need y'all to check on. Uh, he's going to check my damn car. What's that? He's going to check my car. Y'all going to check everything so illegally. Y'all don't even have. You're un Ma'am, you're under arrest, okay? Yeah, so yeah, nothing, of course. Nothing of course, is. Of course, illegal, of okay? course, of course not. As long as y'all put me under handcuffs. That's why we shouldn't drink and drink. She protests her arrest and mentions that she needs to get her kid from inside the apartment, but won't allow the officers go to pick up the kids. She continues to deny being drunk, even though her actions and speech say otherwise. As she continues to get more worked up, the evidence of her intoxication is clear. Never seen this before? Yeah. Are we booking this? I think so. She didn't tell. I Family? asked her which gas station she just said the I was gonna, on campus. Yeah, it's flammable, though. You can't book it. I, maybe just take it back to the oh, gas station. Did you take a photo of it? I did take a photo of it. Is this damaged? Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. She's been dragging it for a while. I know, that's what, did you see me flip around? Was that you? Was it right there? At, yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I saw you. Because I heard, I was like, what? The officers need to find out where the gas station was that the now damaged gas hose was removed from, so as to inform them and decide where to go from there. The young lady was then transferred to the station for processing. No, 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 as soon as you guys bring her in here so she can move me and transfer safely, then yes, I will have to do it. Otherwise, she take the shit off. Otherwise, You're perfectly safe. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not at home. I'm not anywhere where I'm comfortable. So no, I am not safe. And until I am, no, no, because I can see her from right here. I can see her if she comes out the room. I can see everything from right here. I'm fine. She's not even over there. Oh, whatever. Sure. Sure. However you want to feel. Baby, I will be baking on uh, whatever the hell I have on me. Because you guys won't take this shit off. You want to believe I'm f***ing drunk? Sure. This is what's on me now. Okay. No. Get her. Well, Get her. As soon as you stand up. Get her. No. Not with you. You're rude. How am I? How You're I rude. You? you are the same officer that sat over here and go close the door on me talking about maybe you shouldn't drive drunk and close the door. Like I would drive drunk with a four-year-old. I never said that to you. Go get her. Just like another fucking police officer. Always fucking. What's up with white people? I don't understand. No. Let's go get her. I can't do that. We need to go. Okay. Well, tell me where you're taking me. To jail. <laughs> no. I just had a whole 
conversation with her. She told me she had to go do paperwork and she'd be coming out to talk to me. So let's know. You can go talk to her and she can come back to me and get me. Otherwise, it's going to be a whole nother thing. No. You can go get her. That's in the talking about some to jail. The f You can go get her. That's what you can do. Or a judge. You can do that too. Judges don't work on Sundays. Don't make no difference in front of me. I don't work on Sundays either. Go get somebody. Bye bye. The door is right. At the station, she is uncooperative and refuses to allow the officers do their job. She continues to be rude and aggressive to the officer in attendance and requests another one before she cooperates. Just to if we can release free. No. If we can release you to an adult. So first of all, I'm twenty three. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you very much. I am a full adult. Full functioning by the way. But you're under uh, the influence of that, alcohol. Not only that, but um I've told you multiple ways of you can get in touch with my brother. I haven't even received if I could get my phone, literally, I'd be able to tell you guys the phone number. Nobody's able to remember a phone number off the top of their heads. I so what exactly? No, honey, I cannot. I can't even remember the last time I went potty. Okay, so I'm giving you the options. So what would you like we're, me to do? We're going to get up now and go to the patrol car. You're going to do it voluntarily. Otherwise, we will assist you in doing so. Because you guys can't find my brother's phone number. Correct. And he has a whole CDL. And you mean to tell me you can't find this phone number? Okay, go ahead and stand up. Take it off of me. Come on, just stand arrest up. me. Because you're going to sit over here and lie to me stand for up. no damn reason. Face the wall. Why the hell would you sit over here and lie to me? What the hell was the reason for that? Go ahead, do what you need to do. Shit. The Phelps have cups. What was that? cups. Uh, here you go. Oh, well, away from me. No. No, no, I don't want him touching me. I don't want him touching me. I don't want him touching me. You don't have the option. I, I, no. Okay, then turn around and face the wall. Then don't have him touch me. Turn around and face the wall. You can touch me, but he cannot. He is a police officer. I don't care. He's going to put hands on you. You're not going to resist. I've been in harmful situations. He's not touching me. I just met you. I don't give a damn. I've met a lot of people before, and they f***ed me up before. Nope, no thank you. Put okay. your right foot up here so you can take off your, you got to take off your leg restraint. Go ahead and put it up here. You can close the door now. Mm -hmm. I've got it on body camera. Bye. No. No. Did you rebuckle yourself? Yes, I did. But I'm not leaving. No. 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 No, I'm not going inside of there. I'm not going inside of there. Well, you don't I'm have a choice. I'm not going to jump. Okay. I'm so not. I'll stay out here with you. That's fine. If, and we can talk about the whole thing. But I'm not going to jump. I can't. I can't. Are you listen to me? <laughs> If you don't come out with me right now, they're going to have to come pull you out, and I don't want that to happen. Who is this? She is. This is refusing to come out. Seems the young lady was not aware of the situation on ground, but once another officer arrives to explain the situation to her. When she does not cooperate and is transported to the AL, that's when the crying starts. But it is too late for her now. She was charged with driving under the influence. Our next suspect did not remove the gas station hose unknowingly, but she did try to steal from the gas station. On October 28, 2023, in Baraboo, Wisconsin, officers were dispatched to a local gas station on reports of a female that was refusing to leave the store after being caught stealing a vape the previous day at the same gas station. Hi, Herb. How you doing? I just came to get some stuff. Honey, how are you doing today? Being a cop's such a hard job. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you get you're, this to yourself, Amanda, and I'll thank you. We'll chat I appreciate your service. All right, I appreciate you saying that. Oh, you are strong. Mm -hmm. And so is he. There we go. Right. Meet one of my husbands. Oh, that's one of your husbands. Yeah. I put two and two together. I told her I was coming to get her. I'm guessing she's not going to have any money for that stuff. 
and she's getting no trespass from here as well from yesterday's incident. So if she doesn't have money, I would probably not waste that guy's time anymore. <laughs> Did her money come through? I don't know. I'm you... just gonna pay for her day. Well, so yeah. she has like 900 lighters and like he's been ringing up she stuff for. Yeah. That we can't make her go. You're right. Like, this is bullshit. Because, so, I think I spoke with her mother as a Officer Conley and her sisters. Um, the mother's a f it would, mom wants to drag her to the church and have people hold her down. Yeah. And she needs to take her medicine. Yeah. And her sister's going, hey, the cops are mobile. I guess we need to get The officers show up to find the suspect at the store counter. Her sudden cheeriness and familiarity with the officers, coupled with her unstable movements, are confusing. There seems to be something wrong with her, and the officers have death with this before, so they are not surprised. To drag her to the church and have people hold her down. Yeah. And she needs to take her medicine. Yeah. And her sister's going, hey, the cops are mobile. I guess we need to get trespassed or something else. And I have some located. I'm getting, I'm cutting down because these ones, they're too high of a dose and it makes you, it's, it's not a healthy dose. Right. Just wait for it. And I'm pregnant, I need to cut down on this stuff. So right. I'm doing That's a good thing. Then. So just so you know, she hasn't gotten trespassed yet. Oh, okay. And then, the, and how do I end you to use marijuana? More than anybody else okay. in the world. 41 year old female, very high heart rate. For many reasons. Thank you, Jim. Here, I'll buy you a What's up? What's going on? Can I put my hand on you? No. Sorry. Tatanka! Tatanka! I mean, he's the one with her. I want that watermelon strawberry thing, that peach strawberry that I flavor across our weird. We're coming here, so that's why. But I told him I was like, after this, she's not gonna be here again. Can I get another one too? No, I need to because they run out too fast. A friend who stopped by the station and saw the whole thing happened offered to pay for her goods because she also could not afford to do so. The suspect's behavior became erratic and she seemed to be mentally unstable. She even asked to put her hands on the officers. Or, I'm going to be honest, you're going to end up at the jail. You're going to end up at the jail. Okay, well that's great. Then I'll have a day off, I guess. Good. Right? I'll take care I'm of you. I'm not going to... I'll protect Amanda. you. I don't know your Amanda. name. And I will never okay. turn He's my back got your on you. Vape, so I hope you have a great day out. and you continue to do your job. Right. Oh. I need a thing. No, I'm getting all that. That is coming home with me. And yesterday you didn't have any money, so I'm guessing today you're not gonna have any money for that stuff. And he already paid for your babe, so I mean. He seems to be. What do I gotta say to make you get out of my life? Okay, then leave. I have the power! I have the power of Baraboo! I can sue Baraboo! Okay, Amanda, I'm gonna warn you one last time, and then I'm. God, I will sue you! Are you gonna listen to him or not? My husband will sue the Baraboo School District! Okay. That has nothing to do with me, Amanda. You're right. Okay. But Amanda, you were there. Amanda, you were there. I'm gonna take Amanda. everybody down. I will die okay. for what is right. Amanda, what what is the point right now? Other than I am okay. trying to survive. My son is okay. important. My daughter is important. My I'm baby are me. important. My sisters hey. are important. My mothers are important! My brothers are Time to leave. It's time to leave. Okay, I'll go. listen to you, Conley. I'm sorry. It's time to go. No, I listen to police officers. Let's go. Come on. No. No! What's your name? Hey, bud. What's what? your name and who Come are you? Come over here. 
Just go this way, please. Uh, I, you want to just go around? Do you know her? Sorry. You don't? Okay. All right. I like your right. tattoo. Yeah. Are you Are you going to go home no. with him? No. I'm going to stay right here okay. until I have everything. After several warnings from the police to remain orderly and leave the store with her friend, with the suspect disregarding each one of them, the officer decides she might have to be detained. Sorry. Thanks. You don't? Okay. All right. I like your right. tattoo. Yeah. Are you Are you going to go home? No. With him? I'm going to stay right here okay. until I have everything okay. from this store. Amanda. I am not going to tell you again. I'm not through. If you are not going to choose to leave, I'm going to take you to jail for disorderly conduct. I'm not going to continue with this. So he is trying to give you a ride. Okay. Try it. I dare you. Do you? I dare you. Is that you. what you want to happen? One of my husbands is here, okay. and I will get back out and have this baby. 2.36. Yeah, you might want to head this way. Okay. Again, Amanda, we're giving you I all promise! The, we're giving you all of the options. Don't to calm make down. me say it! Don't man, don't want to say it to you! But I will curse you and beat your ashes! I'm we're done. Okay, okay. you're under arrest. Yeah. For disorderly conduct. You're under arrest. She is given several warning despite the trespassing and the fact that she had tried stealing the previous days because of her pregnancy and her mental health issues. But the officers can only be so lenient. Oh, I am never a man! Get your hands off me! I help! Don't. Help! Get the taser! Oh, I will shoot you! I will shoot you! I will shoot you! Stop! I will shoot you! Okay, well then stop, stop fighting with us and we won't be. I am married to Jared Stoddard! We're 1095. Please be gentle with me! I am pregnant! Can you, can you walk with me? No, I will only leave with her! I will only leave with Herb! Then walk okay. with her. No, Let's Herb. Go. Him. You can come Not with me. us, Herb. Herb's coming with us. Oh. Herb, where are you? Oh, my Let's go. Herb! I'm the right, right here. You f***ing bitch! I had to go for two things. Herb, set me up and he's going to jail. He's going to jail. Oh, all these handcuffs are too... As expected, her reaction to getting arrested is aggressive and she does not make it easy for the officers to put her in handcuffs. Her behavior continues to be erratic and random, and she keeps saying things that do not make sense. She doesn't know what's wrong with anything. I'll get in a second. It hurts. It hurts. Could you pick that up, please? Please tell me. I don't know this man. What is your name, it badge? Give me your name, Liberty! God, that's not your name! H something G! Okay. Herb! Hop in! Herb! Herb. Hop in, Amanda! Seat. Let's go! You are an evil! I am not Navajo! Let's go! Have a seat, Amanda! Hop in the car, please! I am a Navajo baby in me! Have a seat! Amanda, please get in the car! I am a mixed breed baby in me! Amanda, hop in! Let's go! Let's get in! No! Amanda, you need to get in the car. In the car. No! I made Jed Stoddard! He is my ass! Ow! Get you fing assholes are hurting me! Get in the car. Get in the car, Amanda. Have a seat and we won't have to do that. You just hurt me. Okay. And I have videotapes! Stand up. Have it. All on video. Get in the car, please. Oh. Let's go. Oh, you fkers. Get in. Let's go. You are going to purgatory. You Let's go. are on the purgatory list. Her yelling is disturbing the people in the area and she refuses to enter the car when it's time. It takes a long time for the officers to get her in. In the end, she was charged with resisting and obstructing an officer and disorderly conduct. The suspect might have been in her own world and the officers and everyone else was intruding. 
Our next suspects tried shoplifting, but it wasn't really their things. On September 3, 2022, police officers in Washington received a report and were dispatched to Coles regarding two teenagers caught shoplifting. When the officers told them they were under arrest, one teenager would not comply. Watch what happens. Don't touch me! Oh, get up! Give me something! Stop touching me! You're under arrest. Can you please? He's hurting me, though! I can't! He's hurting me! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Let go! Ow! Ow! He's twisting my arm! Stop it! struggles with the officers even as they successfully put her in handcuffs. She continues to yell and scream, disturbing the other shoppers in the area. This is so tight. Sir, back. can you feel this, please? We'll get, out. We'll get to calm down. We'll get to search. I need that bag we'll back. That's car. mine. We'll can you please help me? We'll Ow, it hurts so we'll bad. It hurts so bad. I'm not doing nothing. Like, you can can't be acting like that this. Way, okay? What's your name? My name is Nive. Please, Nive, I have a kid. Hold on, face that way. <laughs> Nive, keep going. Go ahead and spread your feet. Nive, Nive, listen. Can you pull the Nive, hair out of my mouth? Please. Listen, I... just one sec. We're going to get you searched. We're going to get you in the car. And we're going to go from there. Okay? At this point, there's no need. You're under listen, at this point, there's no need to yell about that. Anything. We'll get to that. We're just getting you. The hair out of my mouth. Can you... We'll get to that in just Grab a second. It real quick, we'll get to please. that in a second. Sir, he's literally putting bars on me for no reason. Okay. Not a reason, but I mean like, no I don't mean by no reason, but how he grabbed me, how he grabbed me, I'm not fighting you, sir. You I'm a woman, I can get up. Me, right? No, I didn't yes, kick you, you. I didn't kick you, you're lying. Check the camera what? on your what? fucking... What? He, yeah, he used force. Tell him to look at his yeah, camera. Look, I have a video, I have a video, I'm not, I'm not running away or nothing. I will get in this damn car, but he over here is twisting my arm and oh, pushing me I'm down. Take this off. He pulled. Take the purse. That's off. fine. Take relax. the purse off. You guys, relax. I'm not running. Relax. I'm okay. okay. I'll go to That's jail, great. but he's hurting me though. That's, That's not what? okay. I want his. She would not do as the officer says and keep screaming that the officer is hurting her even when she's not being touched. That's fine. Right, I'm gonna search you. That's, That's fine. Go ahead. Sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No weapons in there, right? No. Okay. No weapons, my phone okay, is in my right still, pocket. Just hold still. Okay, my, you are being recorded by us. My phone? Yeah, and I want the recording of when we'll you pinned me that. down. Just hold on a second. And I'm not we'll playing. I will call this empty. You guys don't know who my parents are. You will. And I'll get my lawyer too. Then you tell your parents you shouldn't be shoplifting, and right? I'll get, and, I'll, and I'll tell my parents about you too. And you're fired. You little... Dirty ass. Here you go. Here you go. Look. Oh hell yeah. Okay. Well, magnet. Ours no, no, no. But I'm just showing you. Okay, she's okay. using a magnet. That's this burglary. I think he has the purses mixed up. Yeah. Or this is the Mexicans. This one, the black ones, the black ones. Yeah. Yes. So I put in my report like what the whole resisting thing because that. I think Yes, well, yes. Well, I mean, I didn't get a chance to turn on my camera until after I was uh, holding her down, but she's the one that's, like, fighting me. Yeah, yeah. Kicking me. Yeah. Which, do you which remember is, which one? What? 
This is Mexicans. This one? Hers. Hers? And then black is black. So this is hers. Okay. That's all hers. Okay. And then this is all, all hers. Right. Yeah. Can we get a um picture of the ID? Uh, the ID. Well, it's not her. Oh. We don't know yet. Okay. Let me find out who okay. she is first and then I'll let Can you know. Can you find out who she is too? Yeah, Tanner's doing that. I know, but he's a little delayed. No, he's not. <laughs> It's never a good idea to steal, but doing that and threatening the police by reporting them to your parents. The officers don't find anything while searching her, which she allows them to do without much trouble. In her purse, though, they find a device that's usually used to remove Tag's ROM clothes. Okay. 8.30 at the Federal Way Court. Right. And I'm going to take your picture, too. Thank you for not, like, jumping on me. Can I flick the camera off? Flick what camera off? Your camera. For what? <laughs> Cause. She's the one that's like fighting back. <laughs> that's the photo I want you to have though. Yeah. <laughs> the other suspect was much calmer and did not end up getting arrested. The officers handed her a ticket and told her to show up to her court date. I'm telling you, you're being trespassed. Okay. Have it recorded. Okay, so you can call your friend or whoever you need to and have them pick you up right here in front of the court. Right. Address is on this ticket, same address still. Okay. Your court date is September 13th, 8.30 in the morning, right here at this court right here. Okay. You're, you're getting it's charged. Paper. Yeah. All right. you need to at the court, the first suspect is processed. Her erratic behavior has since stopped and she does as she's being told. She is handed a ticket and a court date before being released. Both girls were charged for theft, and the struggling teenager received an additional charge for resisting arrest. The Akron police were called to a school regarding a fight that had broken out in the school gym. They had to resort to using chemical spray to break up several fights that followed after the first one. The school was the East Community Learning Center. The fight broke out during a basketball game at the center's gym. The police show up and there is a crowd around the gym stopping them from getting inside. The kids don't listen when told severally to break it up and go home. The officers then have to use pepper spray to get them to listen. back a few inches and in the distance shouts from another ongoing fight can be heard. An officer rushes over to break it up while using more pepper spray. The fight stops, but the kids still continue to linger around. Hey, go to class. Go to class. The school is on lockdown. Get out of the hall. Hey, What's up? Yeah. I'm scared. Well, get back in the classroom. Can you call my mom? No. I'm Go back in the classroom. You should be in the classroom or in the cafeteria. You should not be in the hallway. Hey, bro, get this Come with me. I'm going to arrest you. Go to the office right now. I'm not playing with you. This class down here. This class down here. No, it's too late. It's too late. Get away. Go to the office. She said something to me. I'm listening. No, go to the office. You're instigating a fight. I didn't do. I didn't. Yes, I wasn't did. instigating nothing. Go to the she office. We're going to, to the office now. You're not gonna go grab her. I told you seven times to go to class. Just go to the go office. Grab her. I, no, I, I went to class the first time. Did I not? No, you didn't. Go to the yes, office. I did. I swear to God, go ask Mr. Miller right now. Go to the office where you can talk you to your Mr. principal right now. Ask Mr. Miller if I was in my class go right away. now. Go to the office. 
Bro, You're trying it. to start a fight in the hallway, I which is exactly what we're avoiding. Dear, go to class. He For those inside the school, the building is on lockdown, and the kids have been directed into their classrooms and the cafeteria till the chaos can be properly handled. Getting the students to listen is more problematic than the officers hoped for. And you're a criminal because you're under arrest right for now. For what? For disorderly conduct. What is that? Y'all never told me to Being do nothing. Being a knucklehead, basically. Bro. Outside the school, the officers have apprehended a teenager for disorderly conduct and causing more chaos. Water doesn't help. I need her. I'll get her. Who's your sister? Make me kick. Oh, 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 It has been hours and the officers are still trying to get the students to go home. More officers have arrived on scene and a couple more arrests have been made. In the end, multiple students were either arrested or detained in the aftermath of what happened at the school. On March 16, 2023, police received the report of a shoplifting in progress. When the officers arrived at the scene, they were met by a woman around the store's restroom area. We do not have paperwork from you guys. She always bails you, out of here. Have you guys told her yes. not to come back? Okay. Yep. I'll just need I'll need a statement in reference to that. So. Hi there, Randy Wilson, with Libby Police Department. You're being detained right now. You're not free to leave. Right. Can you come here, please? No. Don't go out that door. You're it under, is an emergency. You're under arrest for trespass. No. You're under no, arrest. No, I'm not. For I'm not under arrest. 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 I'm not under According to the report from the store's employee, she had been at the shop to steal before and had been told not to return. When they search for the suspect, the officer finds her coming out of the restroom and informs her that she is being placed under arrest. She attempts to flee but does not get very far. 
Do not resist. I'm not do not fight. I'm not to Okay, we'll talk about that. Calm Leave down. me alone! Calm down. No! Yes, calm down. No! Leave me Don't alone! Don't fight me. Calm down. Leave me alone! Calm down. Get off of me! I'm not going to get off of you, but yeah. you need to calm down. Get off of me! You need to calm down. Oh, no! No! Get off of me! I'm not getting off of you. You're under arrest. No, Stay I'm here. not! Stay down on the ground. No, I'm not. Give me the use of that. I'm not under arrest. Stay down on the ground. Arrest. Yes, you are. Stay on no, the ground. No, I'm not! Don't kick me. No, I'm not under arrest. No, I'm not! Get off of me! I'm not getting off of you. Stay down on the ground. No, I'm not arrest. Stay down on the ground. No, you're an imposter. I'm not. I'm the police. No, you're not. Okay, stay on the ground. You're a liar. Liar! No! You're being hypnotized. You can't. Stay on the ground. You can't arrest me! What's your name? None of your business. For some reason, the young woman continues to resist, telling the officers that she's not under arrest or going to jail. She even accuses the police of being fake. Officers wait for backup. The can here is the young lady yells for the president to help her. The officers have to put her in special restraints, a helmet, and a jacket to keep her in one place. The woman is now crying, and it takes six people to transport her out of the building. This is Mindy McLean's and her too! <laughs> no, it's not. This isn't my fault. You said I wasn't going to go to jail for the rest of my life. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Please stop! Please let me go! I don't... I'm not supposed to go to jail! And they promise it's not a lie! You were hypnotized in a way because of those girls! Now put me down and let me go, please! That's what happened Yeah. No! No! <laughs> I'm not supposed to go to jail! I'm not! The President of the United States said that I wouldn't have to go to jail for the rest of my life for what, because of what I did for this place. Please! You're gonna feed it all the way down. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Her speech has become mumbled and she is not making any sense. The woman was arrested on suspicion of third-degree assault, second-degree burglary, and resisting an arrest. 
On February 14, 2024, police were called regarding a disturbance because of a verbal altercation between two people. Officers were dispatched to the Grand Key Resort in response to the call. A female was heard screaming at a male at the resort's parking lot. Who's the other person involved? Just leave it alone. He doesn't even know what's going on. He is so drunk, he does not know what's going on. Okay. Is that your... He's my boyfriend. He doesn't even know what the f*** happened, anything. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to swear. But he does not even know what's going on. That's how drunk he is. And that's why he's so me. That's so mad at me because I cut him off from the bar. And he's mad at me. Okay. But what happened? I don't even know. I don't even know what happened. I walked up to him and he starts talking shit to me. To him. All this... We were hanging out with these dudes at the bar all night mm -hmm. and all of a sudden he just walks away and I go and follow him and he's like, you know what the f***, you know what the f you know what the f Sorry, I don't mean to swear at you, but that's what he was saying to me. Swearing, I don't care about Yes. Screaming at me. I'm Please sorry. Swear. I'm just so overwhelmed. This has never happened to me. My f head hurts. My hands hurt. Everything. Why does your hands hurt? Because he hit me so I hit back. Look, I don't, I do not mess with that shit. If you're gonna hit me, I'm gonna hit you the f back. What do you mean? And. Where did he hit you? <laughs> hit my mouth. That's why my lip is fucking swollen. You see that? Anyways, I don't know what happened. I, I could not even tell you. Did she touch you? No. No, no, no. She's so crazy. She went crazy, is what you said? Yeah, she's drunk. Okay. okay. You seem like you're a little intoxicated too. Yeah, That's no, all right. No, no, no. It's not a crime. I, no. She is incoherent but manages to explain the details from the night to the officer. She admits that her boyfriend was not involved in the drama but says she was hit and that she hit him in return. The boyfriend also admits to being drunk. Yeah, yeah there we go. I'm not sure fucking around. <laughs> I know, but on, on that side of your face, you get a little abrasion and scratch, and on the back over here, you got some redness on the back of your head. I'm trying to figure out what that's about. You tell me you don't have any idea, so. That's my girl's. Okay. Spazzing around. That was her messing around? Spaz spazzing oh, out. spazzing. Yeah. Oh, okay. The officers catch sight of injuries on the boyfriend's face, but he seems not to remember getting them. The officers want to know more about his injuries, so they go over to question the girl. I'm always like, babe, get up, get up. Kind of like moving him with my foot, like uh -huh. nothing. As soon as he gets up, kill this, kill that. I was like, I was like, David, what did I do? He's like, you know what you did? I did not do anything. I promise you, we were sitting at this bar out here. We were talking to these two dudes. He was talking to them all night. I was talking to them all night. All of a sudden, he just walks away mad. I promise you, I have no clue what I did wrong. I was trying to get him up out of the grass and get him to our hotel room and get him to sleep. He just goes off, shoves me, and pushed me to the ground. I got up. Did anybody see this? I mean, I don't think anybody saw it, but somebody heard, and that's why they called the yeah, cops in there. Yes. Anybody see anything about what's going on out there? Yeah, she came back with a swollen lip. She did? Yeah, and she, okay. she did say she hit him. She said she hit him. You saw her, like, leaving, like, getting, leaving uh, mm -hmm. the lobby? She, well, she ran in and out of here three or four times. Okay, so her lip was at one point not swollen, and now it is. Mm -hmm. And then did you see anything about the guy? No, I haven't seen the guy at all. Okay. He's been in the middle of the parking lot the whole time. Okay. For some reason, when she came down here, mm -hmm. she was looking for him. He was not in the building, and she was all no, looking for him. Okay. Okay. He was walking her out, you know, like trying to get away okay. from her. Okay, yep. And then after about less than five minutes, right, Jess? Mm -hmm. About less than five minutes, she went outside, and then we started hearing screaming. We're not certain what exactly happened, but okay. it seemed like he was trying to get away from her too as well. This whole trip, he's just been standoffish, like, you, like, all this, and I'm just like, I do not want to press charges on him. I do not want him to go to jail. The girlfriend says he had been passed out and woke up angrily accusing her of doing something to him. That's fine. I am the one that actually threw punches and hit him. I don't know how I got upset with, I cannot tell you. I know I got shoved, I know I got pushed to the ground. All I know is I threw first punch. I was repeatedly hitting him in the head, that's all I know. But you wouldn't have thrown a punch at all if you hadn't been pushed and then smacked in the face. Yes. So. Miss Paris. <laughs> yeah? Can you be honest with me? Yes. Do you remember getting pushed or no? I can tell you, I don't remember a single thing. All I know is I went to try to wake him up, that's all. 
Can you do me a favor? Yes. Can you stand up? Yep. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Why am I getting less of this? I'll find dress. I just really couldn't tell you what happened first. All I know is he wouldn't want me arrested and I don't want him arrested. Okay. And, and I appreciate I you and I appreciate your honesty. I believe, because like I told you, I don't get set up unless somebody puts hands on me first. I understand. So like the lip, because I can yeah. feel that my lip I can, is I can see some redness there. Yes. He definitely put hands on me first. That's all I know. Okay. Because I don't just go off like that for no reason. Okay, but can you just, I'm going to jail right now. Ask me. But why? Because he has scratches and he has wounds that are more of an aggressive. The fact that the man is intoxicated stops him from clearly telling his side of the story. But the girlfriend keeps giving various versions of her initial story, with the one constant thing being the fact that she hit the man. The officers decide to arrest her for assaulting the man. The woman then had a panic attack at the station, but was cleared at a hospital.